is that if you're going to be obedient and you're going to be willing God is going to bless you sometimes we are obedient but we are not willing and what God wants is that we become obedient and with obedience that we be also willing while we are obeying कई बार हम आज्ञा तो मानते हैं पर आज्ञा के साथ साथ हम खुश नहीं होते हैं उस आज्ञा मानने में पर खुशी के साथ जब हम उस आज्ञा को मानेंगे तो परमेश्वर हमको Utaiga, and I'm going to show you the scriptures. I'm going to show you the word, and it's going to be a blessing to you. Are you ready with me? Now, let me read for you from Isaiah chapter one, verse nineteen. If you be willing and obedient, Bible says, ye shall eat the good of the land. So there are two things that the word says. One is that you're going to be willing, and secondly, you're going to be obedient. And God says, if these two things work together with you, then the result of your willingness. With obedience is going to be that you are going to eat the best of the land. That means that the land is going to give you the best. Amen. Now read that in Hindi, please. Yadi tum agya kari ho kar kar meri mano. Yadi tum agya kari ho kar kar meri mano. To is desh ke. To is desh ke. Uttam se uttam padarth khaoge. Do baate bata ra. Yadi tum agya kari ho kar meri baat. कई बार हम बात तो मानते हैं पर आज्ञाकारी नहीं होते हैं। बात मान ली है बात मान ली कोई ऑप्शन ही नहीं है इसलिए बात मान ली पर अगर मौका मिले बात ना मानने का तो बात नहीं मानते पर खुदा बोल रहा है खुदा का कलाम बता रहा है कि जब तुम बात मानो तो कैसे मानो आज्ञाकारी होकर अंग्रेजी में तो जो वर्ड है वो बहुत बढ़िया है पर हिंदी में इसको खाली आज्ञा मानना बता दिया गया बट रियल वर्ड है खुशी के साथ विलिंगली स्व इच्छा से कई बार हम लोग आज्ञा तो मानते हैं पर स्व इच्छा अगर मौका मिले तो आज्ञा नहीं मानते इफ यू बी विलिंग एंड यू बी ओबीडियंट सो माय क्वेश्चन इज डू वी ओबे इफ यू से यस माय सेकंड क्वेश्चन इज डू यू ओबे विलिंगली पहली बात आप मुझसे मैं पूछूंगा आज आपसे आप उत्तम से उत्तम पदार्थ खाना मांगते हैं अपने देश के आपका जवाब अगर है हाँ तो मेरा दूसरा सवाल आपसे यह है कि क्या आप हुक्म मानते हैं और अगर आप हुक्म मानते हैं तो मैं ये आपसे तीसरा सवाल पूछूंगा क्या खुशी के साथ हुक्म मानते हैं कई बार हम हुक्म मान रहे हैं पर खुशी के साथ हुक्म एंड द होल टीचिंग इज टूडे इन दैट वेन यू आर गोन बी ओबीडियंट हाउ विलिंगली समाइम्स यू डोंट टू बी वी डोंट वॉन्ट बी ओबीडियंट बिकॉज वी थिंक दैट आह This is tough. 
I can get around this thing in some other way. But you see, you can many times get your work done some other way, but that way may be your way, not God's way. So the results that you're expecting is not going to be God's way, it's going to be your way. Kai bar hum hukum maantte hain, to ye soch ke maantte hain, arre agar hum ne hukum maan liya, ye wala to bada nuksaan ho jayega, kyunki aapko saamne hukum maanne mein kai bar nuksaan dikhta hai. पर आप कई बार जब हुक्म परमेश्वर का तब भी मान लें जब नुकसान दिख रहा हो ये जान के खुदा की मर्जी है तो खुदा आपके नुकसान को बरकत में भी बदल सकता है पर अगर आप परमेश्वर के हुक्म को ना माने और आप ये सोच रहे हो कि हुक्म ना मान के मैंने अपनी भलाई कर ली है तो हम अपने आप को धोखे में रख रहे हैं क्योंकि हुक्म ना मान के हम अपने ऊपर खुद से तकलीफ को बुलाते हैं कई बार परमेश्वर हमको ऐसी सिचुएशन में रखता है मेनी टाइम्स गॉड कीप्स अस इन अ सिचुएशन व्हिच मे नॉट बी कंफर्टेबल बट दैट्स हाउ ही नोस दैट हाउ ओबीडिएंट वी आर व्हेन द थिंग्स आर इजी इट इज एनीवे वेरी इजी टू ओबे बट द रियल ओबीडिएंस टेस्ट नेवर कम्स व्हेन एवरीथिंग इज इजी द रियल टेस्ट ऑफ ओबीडिएंट कम्स व्हेन थिंग्स आर डिफिकल्ट सच्चा टेस्ट तो उसी समय है ना हुक्म मानना किस समय आसान लगता है जिस समय मतलब की बात हो रही हो पर हुक्म मानना उस समय मुश्किल लगता है जिस समय मतलब की बात ना हो रही हो पर मैं आपको बताना मांग रहा हूं अगर खुदा आपसे किसी भी चीज को मानने के लिए कह रहा है तो उसमें कोई नुकसान नहीं है इफ गॉड इज आस्किंग यू टू ओबे इन एनी थिंग यू ने लूजिंग एनी थिंग जस्ट ओबे जस्ट सिंपली ओबे एंड हाउ ओबे ओबे विलिंगली कैन आई शो यू वन वर्ड I want you to go to book of Hebrew chapter 3 and verse 17 it says like this Hebrew third Hebrew chapter 13 verse 17 it says like this excuse me obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourself for they watch for your souls as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable to you now this word that you are thinking this word that i'm reading right now this word is in regards to the church and the pastor now paul is talking to the church all right and paul is talking and saying guys listen if i have a rule over you for example i am your pastor this is paul talking to the church and paul is saying i am your pastor and uh, you must understand because i am your pastor i go to the lord and i pray for you and when i pray for you and i get the answer from the lord for you consider it not the thought of my mind but consider it as the thought of god's mind so when i come and tell it to you why don't you listen it or why don't you obey it in another words in another words why do you refute it because you are not refuting me but whom are you refuting you're refuting god himself and if you're refuting god himself and then you are obeying at the last what i am saying because you know what i said will happen but you did not obey willingly there is no profit to you you know why because there was no joy in your obedience how many times do we obey our pastors but you are just obeying your pastor because he is your pastor because you want to just honor his position but really the obedience was not from heart or sometimes we make the process of obeying something what has been told to you so burdensome so burdensome that the pastor gets so worn out that he gets so tired oh man how long i know they listen but not the way i want bible says in this case you are not going to profit much i want you to read that in hindi so that i establish it even in hindi as well yeah please go ahead apne apne agu ki mano aur unke adheen raho ha kyunki ve unki nai tumhare prano ke liye jaagte rehte jinhe lekha dena padega kin ki nai jaagte rehte उनकी नाई जागते रहते हैं प्राणों के जिनको तुम्हें जिनको तुम्हारे प्राणों का लेखा देना पड़ेगा कौन आपके प्राणों के लिए जागता है थिंक अबाउट इट फॉर अ मोमेंट कौन आपके प्राणों के लिए जागता है हु एक्चुअली इज अवेक फॉर योर लाइफ वॉचमैन 
Mm. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Who is actually awake for your life? Now, yes. when you read that English, it says, and submit yourself for they watch for your souls. Who are they watching? They're watching over your souls. He's like a watchman. Pastor is like what? He's like a watchman. Kera wo tumare prano ke liye jaakte rehte hain. Kyun? Kyunki agar tumko kuch ho gya, to isko master ko jawaab dena padega. That means as a pastor, if something goes wrong in your life, if something goes wrong in your life, I am accountable. Come on church, do you think that's a very responsible yes. place? Yes. Imagine if you have to give account to God. Think about it for a moment. If I have to give account to God about your life, how careful I have to be when I'm watching over you. Now, you can make this process of me or as a pastor or as a leader or your spiritual mentor, you can make their work either easier or you can make it very difficult. But your blessings are going to depend upon whether you made that learning process easier or you made it difficult. As a pastor, khadim ke roop mein, ek khadim to aapke upar dekhi raha hai. Hai na? Jaag raha hai? Kaise jaag raha hai? Un logon ki nai jin ko lekha dena padega. Thik hai? Aage is statement ko suniye because this statement carries all the teaching. Ji, padhiye. Ki ve yeh kaam anand se karein. Kaise karna chahiye in ko yeh wala kaam? मैं आपके लिए दिन और रात जाग रहा हूं जैसे वॉचमैन वॉचमैन जागता है मुझे देखना पड़ता है भाई इसने कहीं कुछ गलत काम तो नहीं किया इसने कोई गलत काम तो नहीं किया आई हैव टू बी अवेक लाइक अ वॉचमैन आई हैव टू कॉन्स्टेंटली विजुअल योर लाइफ ना हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू डोंट लाइक मेनी टाइम्स पास्टर वाई इज ई करेक्टिंग मी इन दिस एरिया वाई इज ई करेक्टिंग मी इन द फाइनेंशियल एरिया और दिस इज माई पर्सनल लाइफ लेट मी टेल यू देर इज नथिंग कॉल एज पर्सनल वेन यू आर विद वेन यू आर वॉकिंग विद द क्राइस्ट it is always a spiritual it's not personal anymore it is a spiritual what is there in your life that is so personal that you can think that you can drive that personal space away from the presence of the lord hallelujah what is so personal if there is something that is so personal which is wrong don't you think that needs to be made right and what is the problem if someone in, someone in your family or as a pastor or somebody who watches over you it can be your father it can be your brother in christ not necessarily it's always a pastor but we are all accountable to each other right we should hold each other accountable if something goes wrong in your life i must be able to talk about it i must be able to effectively communicate it to you and when i effectively communicate it to you you and i must be in a place of reconciliation understanding yes this is what i did that was not right and i must make it right and the word of god is saying jab main khadim ke roop mein tumhari life ko dekh raha hu ek watchman ke roop mein tumhari life ko dekh raha hu to kya ye tumhari responsibility nahi honi chahiye ki tum jo meri baat maan rahe ho wo khushi ke sath maano when you are obeying how should you be obeying then See, any way we are obeying, then why not with joy? Yes. You see, ultimately, are you obeying or not? Yeah, you are obeying. Well, why not with joy? Why not with gladness of heart? Now, you read that, please. Read that, please. Ji. कि वे ये काम आनंद से करें. कैसे करना चाहिए ये वाला काम? आनंद से करें. जी. ना कि ठंडी सांस ले लेकर. ना कि कैसे? ठंडी सांस ले लेकर. Oh, फिर यार. कितनी बार समझाया है तुमको? Bible is saying that if this is how a pastor has to teach you always, that means I taught you something, then you are square back to square one, and I teach you again. ऐसे मत करो यार ये काम खराब है, ऐसे मत करो ये काम खराब है, और बार बार वही बात बार बार आपको समझाई जानी पड़ रही है। एक ही बात जब कई बार समझाई जानी पड़ती है, तो वो ऐसा हो जाता है जैसे कि एक किसी को बहुत आहें भर भर के वो बात समझानी पड़ रही है क्या अप टिल हाउ लॉन्ग वेन वुड यू बी वाइज इन अन अदर वर्ड्स वी आर लिसनिंग टू द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड एट टाइम्स वी आर लिसनिंग टू द मैन ऑफ गॉड बट यू हैव मेड दैट प्रोसेस सो टायरिंग दैट गॉड इज नॉट वेरी हैप्पी अबाउट इट You know what is the result of it later? Look at this. Zara ke padiye iske. Because in this dasha me. Because in this dasha me, in such a kind of situation. You have no loss. You have no loss. In such a dasha me, you have no loss. You see, there is no joy in such a situation. The word of God saying, 
when you are obeying but not with joy. With joy. But word of God says if you be willing and obedient, you're going to eat the Imagine you obeyed and the result is what? Nothing. Just because you obeyed without being willing. Yes, yes. On the contrary, if you would have obeyed but willingly, the result was you would have had the best. I mean, we have children in the church who obeyed but they did not obey it as a burden. They obeyed it as what? Joy. Said, no, what you were doing is wrong. I'm so sorry. Pastor, I'm so sorry. Brother, I'm so sorry. Yes, yes, you're right. I did not obey the way it was. Sometimes we give excuses in obeying. No, what you are saying is right, but this and that. In such kind of a situation, you're going to lose your own blessing. Now, can I show you something? Now look at this verse. Romans chapter 2, verse 6 to 8. Now it says, who will render to every man according to his deeds? Now this is God and the word of God saying that God is going to render every man according to his deeds. To them who by patient continuous in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. But unto them that are contentious mm -hmm. and do not obey the truth but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath now look at this what is it saying it is saying this that God is going to render according to the deeds of one man so if you are doing good deed then God is going to bless you according to your good deed but if you're doing a bad deed God is going to bless you according to your bla bad deed and then the word of God says to them who by patient continuance in well-doing seek for glory and honor now is it easy for us to be patient and be continuous in well-doing no it's not easy when you want to do something good you got to be really very patient now world can teach you, go my way. But word will teach you, go by God's way. Word, the world will tell you to do something that is wrong. But that's not what the Lord wants. World may have his own way to go. But what is the word of God saying? You got to be what? Patient. patient. And how? Continuously you got to be patient. Why? Because if you're patiently waiting continuously waiting you are waiting for the glory of God to come and take over that situation which is not profitable at the moment but if you took a what shortcut then things are going to be bad in your life am I clear in speaking that yes. did you understand that to them who by patient continuance in well-doing what are they doing seek for glory, glory and honor, honor and immortality immortality and that means when things are not going good in your life, but yet patiently you are continuously doing what is right in the sight of the Lord, what are you seeking for? Let me tell you, you're seeking for glory. You're seeking for what? Honor. That means in the right time, God is going to bring his glory. In right time, God is going to bring honor. And you will be the partaker of eternal life. On the contrary, when you go a little further, it says, but to them that are contentious and do not obey the truth you see you have sometimes contentions in your mind you're obeying if obeying because if I'm going to obey I'm going to be blessed this way that way this way that way you see when you obey you don't keep anything in mind you obey simply because that's the command of the Lord Amen. right and when you obey that way Bible says and do not and if you obey that way God is going to bless you but if you're contentiously obeying and you're not obeying the truth Bible is saying you have become unrighteous and you would be filled with indignation and later the wrath of God may fall upon us. When it comes to obedience, you don't become a contentious person. Don't become a person who is always ready to contend with if and but and if this is there and that is there and that is there. It was better you, do not do, you, sh you should have actually handled it yourself. I mean, I'm, as a pastor, I tell you, there are many times people would just come and they want me 
to suggest to them something. And when they come for the suggestions, and you give them the suggestion, they come back with another 20 suggestions, which may be right with their own mind. My answer to them is, when you already know another 20 ways, why have you come to me to talk to me? Sometimes we go to God, but we have so many if and but line up with every question that God would say, man, do it your way. May it never happen in our lives. Yeah, my sath kabhi na ho ki khuda hamse ye wale kaha jaise teri marzi tu kar le. But when God tells us something through the word of God, if you are explained or if through the word of God you know something that is right, how should we be obeying it? We obey it willingly. How do we obey it? You obey it with great joy. Because when you do that, there's going to be a great blessing. Now, let me show you this beautiful uh, instance. I just, I just love this one. And uh, I want you to go to... Luke chapter 5 and verse 4 to 7. This is very beautiful. And Bible says, this is an instance where Peter was catching fish. Right? You remember that instance? And now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your what? Nets for a draught. You know the entire story. I don't need to tell it to you. And Simon answered, Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night. And have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had this done, I love that word. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. Do you like that? That's amazing. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. Simple act of obedience. I love that word. Did you mark that? And when they had this done. I wish we may have this word even in our life. And we had, and when they had this done. So many times me and my wife, we will bang our head against the wall thinking, if they had this done, their boats would have been filled with the fishes and would have been... But so sorry to say many times, we know what has been right, but we don't do what was required. I will do it, but not that way, my way. Do it. He had been catching fish all the night. His way. Many of us are building our lives your own way. But I'm asking, are you building your lives not by my standard, not by your standard? Are you building your life by God's standard? And if you are not building your lives by God's standard, I want to tell you, your ships are never going to be full. The Bible says, if you do it, my way, this way, the way it's been told. You can find out your own ways. But my whole concern for this message is, are you obeying the Lord the way He wants? Jab unhone aisa kiya. Kaisa kiya? Jaisa Yeshu Masih na bola. Kahi bari Yeshu Masih simple si baat bolega. Par hume simple si baat manna bada muskil lagta hai. Simple si baat kya thi? Us par jao aur na और जाल डाल दो क्या बड़ी बात है कोई तुमने सौ बार डाल जाल डाला था सौ बार तो डाला था ना सौ बार अपनी इच्छा से डाला था एक बार खुदा की इच्छा से डाल दो आई हैव डन दिस वर्क हंड्रेड्स ऑफ टाइम दैट वाज योर विश सी यू कैन डू हंड्रेड टाइम्स द थिंग्स योर वे नो रिजल्ट बट आई एम आस्किंग वेन गॉड इज आस्किंग यू टू डू विद हिज वे वन टाइम वुड यू बी मर्मरिंग No, I, I know this work. It's not going to work out. Listen, I know you know this work. I know you have done it hundred of times. I know it did not work out. But would you be willing to do the same work when I am telling you now? There's going to be a difference. I mean, I remember I have young ones coming to me and they had the exams and they wanted to come with me for a particular conference. And they said, Pastor, we want to come for a conference. 
And I said, all right. And then they said, but you know what? We are having the exams on the date of the conference. I said, so can you postpone the conference date and keep it on a date when our exams are getting over because they're the member of the team? I said, no. I'm going to anyway have the conference. If you want to come for the conference, you go to the Lord and pray that the God may change the dates of your exam. So they said, can this happen? I said, well, go and try. So they went and they prayed, and guess what? They went and prayed, and the exam date got changed. And it happened. It's a simple act of obedience. Sometimes we just do not want to obey. Sometimes the obedience can be in just wait. For example, the disciples were said, go into Jerusalem and wait until you receive what? The, was it easy? Sometimes waiting will be very difficult. But God is saying, no, we can't. We got to be doing it our way. No. Don't take the baton in your hand. Keep it in God's hand. When you obey it, God is going to bless you. Amen? Mm -hmm.